Welcome to our video to solve the Rubik's Cube. The first thing you need to do is learn the Rubik's Cube language. When you have to turn it side clockwise, then there is just a letter. When you have to turn it counterclockwise, there is an apostrophe. When you have to turn it by 180 degrees, there is a 2 standing next to it. There are 6 sides and each letter represents one side. R stands for right, U stands for upper, F stands for front, L stands for left, D stands for down and B stands for back. Here we show you how the stages of the solution look like. First thing we need to do is the cross. The second thing is centering the cross pieces. The third thing is putting the corners in the right spot so that we build correct first side. Then we need the second layer. Then we need to make another cross and center as well and corner piece. First of all, we need a cross. For that, there aren't any tips or tricks. All you need is logic, time and practice. Basically, what you have to do is just put up those four sided pieces up to the white center, and that's the cross. The next thing, as said before, is centering the cross pieces. For that, I've got a little tip. Whenever the piece is centered, you rotate the following side that way that the piece is safe down. Repeat it until three pieces are safe down, center the last one, and put the saved ones back. That way, we build the correct cross. When the correct sides are the opposite ones, you save two pieces down at the same time. Sometimes you just get lucky. The next thing is corners. For that you need one simple formula. R, U, R, apostrophe, U, apostrophe. You adjust piece until it's above the needed corner and then keep repeating the formula until the piece is in the place. Do it with all four. Congratulations, you've solved a correct one slide. Now you do the next step, second row. For that you need two algorithms depending on the side you need to turn it to. You can see examples in the video. Then you need a yellow cross. For that you need just one formula. The guide is pretty self-comprehensive, but I'll still explain. There are three possible starting positions. A dot, a tick, and a stick. For tick you need to hold the cube that way that yellow side pieces are facing top and left, and the stick should be horizontal. Then you center the cross with one simple formula. R, U, R, apostrophe, U, R, U, 2, R, apostrophe. If it's vertical permutation, the correct pieces should be in the top and the bottom of pieces. If it's a thick perm, it should be facing top and right. Sometimes you just get luck. Find the one in the correct position. Doesn't matter if it's facing yellow or not, it just should be in the place. If there are none, do an algorithm shown in the video. Then hold the cube that way that corner piece is in bottom left. Repeat the algorithm until all pieces are in their spots. And the last but not the least, permutation. For that you need to do another algorithm. R apostrophe, D apostrophe, R, D twice or four times until the corner is facing yellow. The cube looks ruined, but don't worry. Just move to the next piece with U movement and keep doing it until all four corners are facing yellow. The rest is self-comprehensive. That's about it for our guide. 